Kimberly from StampinByTheSea.com and today I have actually three projects I want to show you. Uh, three, it's the same project but three different samples. And so I know I have a customer that has been asking for a very, very long time for me to uh, show how to create this. Uh, they're just these little sour cream boxes and they're quite simple and I feel terrible because it's taken me this long. but. I'm excited to show you more projects than just one and on my blog you'll be able to see the ones that I created in July. Yes, I know it's been that long, um, but I made some really fun uh, sour cream boxes for my team and now I want to show you some other versions that you can create for the holidays because they are super fast and super simple and just take a few products. So, so let's get started. So this one is a Halloween one that I created and you can see it's got some filter paper, a doily, and then I use the stamp set uh, Sweet Hauntings and I just use the tag punch that matches that and a little bit of uh, the metallic silver thread. And I'll show you how to create this little fringy here. And so this one is a little bit uh, more in depth and that's because I used two different sheets to create one sour cream box. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today because it's actually very simple, but it just gave this um, a different look and I loved it. <clears throat> and this one, again, I used the Winter Wonderland Designer Series paper. Uh, I use the Holly Jolly Greetings, which is a great stamp set for uh, your Christmas cards or your holiday cards because it's got Peace, Merry Jolly, and then all the little good stuff to go with it. And for this one, it was a simple a tag from a die cut, a uh, these metallic doilies, which are, to me, a must-have, and then the winter... Wonderland Designer Series paper. So we're gonna create with the Winter Wonderland Designer Series paper and I'm gonna show you how easy this is going to be. So this is from the Designer Series, um, I'm sorry, the Winter Wonderland Designer Vellum Stack. And you know what? <clears throat> I have used this stack. There is a lot of sheets of paper in this and I have used a ton of it. There's 36 sheets. I mean, that's, that's cray cray. So what we're going to do, this is the Winter Wonderland Designer Series paper, and I'm just going to put a piece of Fast Fuse here, a piece of Fast Fuse here. Now this is just a 6x6 six six in measurement, 6x6 six six measurement here. This is the hardest part, is making sure that you're lined up. And if you're not, don't have a freak out, because you can trim it up. So once we have this, now we're going to come in with our super duper fun tape. And I'm just going to turn this over and I'm going to choose a side, really doesn't matter. And I'm going to put some of this tear tape here. And then I actually go across the entire length. I know some people don't, but you know what? I want this sucker to stay. When I fill it with the chocolates or whatever I'm going to put in it, I want it to stay. So the nice thing about the <clears throat> stick and tape or whatever it's called is you put it down and it tears very nice and it's just kind of like that red sticky strip that we used to have but this is way way better because um, it tears so easily. Now this is the, always the hardest part for me is to get that piece off. So now what I'm going to do is take this and because you have the two pieces together, it might be a little bit difficult, but it's okay. And you're just going to roll it up like a toilet paper roll. You know, maybe if my toilet paper rolls look like this, my kids would change it more. I don't know. It seems to be the biggest problem. I don't know about you, but nobody likes to change a toilet paper, toilet paper roll in my house. All right, so this end is my sticky. So now I'm just going to smush it just like that. And then to create this piece, the actual sour cream, we're going to smush it the opposite way, like this. But I have some things I want to do with it first, okay? So first, <clears throat> let's take a piece of filter paper, and we're just going to fold it in half. Now, that would be too big, so let's go ahead and cut it in half. Oh my, we almost had a very large accident here. Oof, duh. 
You probably thought it was an earthquake here. It wasn't, it was okay. So this fits much better, and then we would fold this in half. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take our handy dandy uh, choppers. What are they called these? Fringe scissors, choppers. And I'm just going to chop like this. Oh my gosh, my belly's growling. <laughs> It's making me laugh. All right, <clears throat> and that's going to fold over just like that. Now we've already filled it with candy, we're make-believing. And now we're going to grab our stapler and just staple. Now the next thing I want to do is, let's see, so we're doing this on the fly, isn't this kind of fun? Let's put that over like that. And then let's add a little bit of pizzazz with this gold metallic doily. So another doily, another doily. Oh my word, I can't stand myself. This is pretty. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna add a little bit of red into this and then I'm gonna come in with my stapler and I'm gonna staple just like that. Hopefully you'll do a little bit better job than I did. Now. For the most part, this project is done. The only thing I need to add is a little tag. So to add the tag on here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a hole punch. And I'm just gonna come and just punch a little hole. And then I'm gonna grab my gold metallic thread, or you could use the cording. Cording even might be better for this because it's a little thicker and a little bit easier to work with. I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to thread it right into that hole. And hopefully not miss it there. All right, <clears throat> now I'm gonna flip this up. Bring this around and I'm gonna tie a knot. I have to get it over my balls, my red balls. Okie dokes. Oh, sure. Oh, there we go. And let's just tie another knot so it's secure. It's not going anywhere. All right. I'm going to do a little trim job. We don't need to see, see that. <clears throat> and there you go. Quick fast, easy little guy, and happy Christmas vlog here. All right, so hey, thanks for visiting, and uh, I hope to see you again. I hope to see you making some of these, and don't forget, visit my blog at stampinbythesea.com. See you later. Mm -hmm.